All right, the second type of fishnets we're going to do is nano mesh replacement. So kind of the same setup, uh, but if, there's a few differences. So we're going to take our guy here, we're going to duplicate him off, select him, hide the original, so we're not confused as to which one we're working on. We're going to hold down control, go grab our mask lasso, and we're just going to lasso out with the mask the area we want to have replaced with fishnets. Now I'm going to hit control W to go ahead and give this a poly group, control shift tap this area to isolate it, and then we're going to go delete higher, go to modify topology, delete hidden, and now we need to clean up these borders, so we'll do it the manual way, go to masking, turn off everything but border, mask by features, control click out here to invert that mask, or just click that inverse button, and then you can go to your deformation tab, and you can do a polish by features open circle, tap that a couple times, and you get a nice clean smooth border, go back up here to geometry Z remesh, and I'm going to, you know, use poly paint you can turn off, I don't think it'll be on for you by default, change your target polygon count down to one or two, doesn't really matter, and adapt the size down to zero so we get nice even quads, hit Z remesh. And again, because we're replacing every single one of these faces with a different mesh, you want to make sure this density is what you're looking for. So if we replace this with fishnets now, it's going to be a very dense fishnet. Uh, so what we're going to do is hit half, hit Z remesh, Z remesh, just keep hitting that until it gets to the density you want, maybe one more. Okay, that'll work. So with that density, I'm going to turn my original guy back on. Go back down here to the deformation menu, and at the very bottom there's inflate. I'm going to select that and hit one enter, one enter, until it gets to the inflation that I want. And you can also go in here with your move brush. Now the reason I'm making sure that these points are all moved out while it's nice and simple is because as soon as I replace this with a more complex mesh, it might be a little more difficult to move around, but it's up to you. You can do either or both. So now we have this, we need to replace all these faces with our mesh. So just like we did with the micro mesh replace, we're gonna grab the plane 3D, hit Control N to clear my canvas here, drag that out, go into edit mode, and change, choose make poly mesh 3D, and we're gonna go here to geometry, and we're gonna reconstruct subdivision history just once, because this is the thickness I want, but not necessarily the density I want. So we're gonna hold down Control Shift, Start dragging out a drag rectangle, hold down spacebar to reposition this, hold down alt to go ahead and delete, or get, you know, hide those points, and then uh, delete higher so we don't have any subdivision history anymore. And then we're going to go to modify topology, delete hidden. Now we have a nice clean mesh. Uh, if you want to simplify these, let's see if this will even work. Let's go to edge loop and just hit delete loops. No. So just really quickly, I'm going to have my transform menu open. Go to activate symmetry in the X and Y. I'm going to hit, or I'm going to go to BZM to grab my Z modeler brush. And then I'm, as I'm hovering over an edge, I'm going to do insert single edge loop. And I'm just going to hold down Alt and just get rid of all these edge loops here. There we go. Now I'm going to hover over an edge and do insert uh, multiple edge loops. Click and drag up and down until I get the density that I want and say, you know what, that's the density is fine. So now that I've already set that density, all I have to do is just click once on this edge over here and it'll do the exact same thing. I'm going to hit Control W just to make this all one poly group again. And then just like the micro mesh, we're going to go to these, hover over a point with our Z modeler brush, hit space bar, do delete point, and just delete those points. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit of nano mesh stuff so because you can control orientation in nano mesh, which is cool, but this is going to be a little bit harder to get to work. Uh, but we'll go ahead and do it just so you can kind of see it. So this is our mesh replacement here. So I'm going to go back up to our arm, and we, again, we know this is our subtool because it's got the two next to it, and that's because it has two subtools, the guy and our arm. So with our arm mesh showing, I'm going to go down here to our nano mesh options. Now, if you're getting a lot of... Uh, I'm holding down shift to keep all these menus open at the same time. Um, so you can go ahead and close those down if it's getting confusing. And then just go to your nano mesh area here. So with nano mesh open, all we need to do is with our Z modeler brush still selected, I'm going to hover over a face this time, hit space bar, and we're going to do insert nano mesh. And you can either do insert nano mesh on all the polygons or polygroup all, because it's all one polygroup, so either one's going to work. So let's do all polygons here. And go ahead and click, well, hit M as in Michael to go ahead and select that poly mesh that we made. Drag that out on your surface here. And you can kind of see it's already made a fish net as I was dragging it out because you can control orientation as you drag. But if you want to do that uh, scientifically, you want to go over here to your Z rotation and just change that to 45 degrees so to get that perfect 45 degree angle. You can also go, so this is going to feel proportional. Um, 
and you don't really know exactly what number needs to be plugged in for size. You can do fit and change that um, size to one, but it kind of overshoots the size. Um, so you can kind of play around with this number. You can change the size down, and it's almost like 0.75 works. But if we go ahead and go down here to inventory, click one to mesh, what that's going to do is convert that instancing of nano mesh to actual geometry. So we go to subtool here. And then we go to split because we have our original mesh, which is a polygroup, and our nano mesh is a polygroup. You can just go down here to split, group split, hit OK, and then grab your nano mesh. Go into solo mode, and if you zoom in, you can, you'll can you see that, oh, it, it was close, but no cigar. So you can kind of rectify that by going to geometry. Let's close some of these down here. Uh, modify topology, and you can do a weld points, and you can change this weld distance, and it'll kind of start grabbing. Um, all of those points, you can just kind of crank that up, you know, and, but that's not ideal. Uh, so we're going to change how that works. I'm going to go ahead and take this nano mesh and go ahead and just delete it. So we're going to do this again. So just like the micro mesh, I'm going to select the poly mesh 3D plane, and I don't see it on here, so I'm going to hit F to frame it. And then it doesn't have two sides, so I'm just going to find the side where I can see it. Go down here to the very towards the bottom here on deformation and we're just going to rotate this at the source mesh on the Z 45 degrees. So now that we've done that I'm going to go back up here to my armband and again uh, we'll go back down here to nano mesh. I'm going to hover over a face make sure insert nano mesh is selected hit M make sure you grab that uh, mesh and now when I drag it out it's going to give me my 45 degree nano mesh. So now when I go to fit and change this to 1 and change the Z rotation to 45. Uh, wait, change it to zero because we rotated 45 on the source. These should line up exactly, so that's a little bit better. Of course, there's a ton of control uh, that you have in a nano mesh. Um, on my Intro to ZBrush DVDs, we or uh, videos on Gumroad, we go over a lot of nano mesh stuff. But just to kind of keep it simple, this is all I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do one to mesh one more time. And uh, oops click something there and then so I've got this I've got the two polygroups here if you want to you can also do control shift and isolate one of the polygroups and then you can go when you go to split you can go to split hidden and that'll split any hidden points here now again if I go to uh, this is just demonstration purposes because smooth sometimes doesn't work so if I go down here to polygroups and do an auto groups none of these points are welded so I'm gonna have to go to geometry modify topology weld points and now if I do an auto groups, all those points are now welded and they all fit up perfectly. So that's great. So back up here to my sub tool. You know, we can give this thickness a couple different ways. We'll go ahead and do it like we did last time. So I'm going to hover over this face. I'm just going to do an extrude polygroup all and just go ahead and pull these out. And then if you want, it, it goes ahead and creases your polygroups. If you want that, that's fine. So when you hit control D, it'll keep these um, some of these edges nice and sharp. If it doesn't, you can manually go into geometry, crease, hit crease by polygroup. There you go, crease by polygroup. That'll keep those nice and sharp. Uh, if you don't want that, you can just do an uncrease all and then hit control D and that'll make it more of a tube shape. Let's go ahead and bring our guy back. So we'll go out of solo mode here. And we don't need our original mesh here, so I'm going to turn that off. And of course, you can go down here to your deformations. And I'm just going to do an inflate of like 0.25 and that'll kind of inflate that up a little bit and of course you can go in here with your move brush and all that kind of stuff as well as when we go to we have subdivisions here so if I want to move this over to the other side I'm gonna have to temporarily delete lower go ahead let's do it all manually uh, I won't use my custom menus so we'll go ahead and uh, do a deformation I'm gonna mirror this across the X and then we're gonna to go to modify topology mirror and weld across the X and then hit X to go into X symmetry here with your transform it'll activate X symmetry when you hit the X key and then if we want our subdivision history back we gotta go over here hit reconstruct subdivision once and now we have our subdivision history back and I'm gonna do this one more time just like we did with the original guy and uh, I'm gonna get rid of that mesh I don't need any more turn off my, my nano mesh I just made duplicate this guy off and just really quickly go into mask lasso hold on control select mask lasso and just mask out one side of his leg here control alt if you want to sharpen this up and just tap in an unmasked area and that'll kind of sharpen that mask up and then hit control w to give it a polygroup hold down control shift 
go to geometry, delete higher, and let's go ahead and turn off our original mesh. We're not confused here. And uh, now that we've deleted higher, I'm just going to go into my custom menu, hit delete hidden. That's under modified topology, geometry modified topology. I've also got a macro here that I'll go ahead and polish my polygroups borders with one button click. And then if you want to, go to your Z remesher. Go to your Z remesher here. Turn off use poly paint. That shouldn't be on for you by default. I'm going to change the adaptive size down to zero. Target polygon count down to like one or two. Doesn't really matter. Hit Z remesh. And again, for the density you're looking for, you can just uh, change your target polygon count or you can hit click half and hit Z remesh again. And just keep doing that until it gets to the density you want. And now, because we've already made the nano mesh replacement, I'm going to hover over this. I'm going to select my Z modeler brush, hover over a face. We're going to do an insert nano mesh, all polygons. Hit M to make sure it's selected. Drag that out. Go down here to our nano mesh menu. Make sure we do fit with a size of one. Whoops, not ten. One, and make sure our Z rotation is zero. And once that looks all good, I'm going to go one to mesh. Go over here to split, group split. Turn off our original mesh here, we don't need it. Make sure I go to weld points, which is under modify, geometry modify topology. And now instead of doing a Z modeler, I'm gonna do a subtool extraction. So on the subtool menu, go to extract. Uh, turn smoothness down to zero. Um, I think all you really need is double on, and we're just gonna change 0. 0.00025 or something like that. Hit extract. And if that's the extraction you want, actually, let's go ahead and do T corner on 0 0.0005 maybe. Hit extract. Still seems to be averaging the vertices out, but that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and just do um, thickness 0.05. That's fine. So we'll go ahead and hit extract, hit accept. And now we've got that extracted mesh. We can turn off our original mesh here. And again, just like last time, you can go to um, crease polygroups under the crease menu under geometry and then subdivide, or you can go in here to uh, uncrease all, and then subdivide. And then we'll go ahead and bring back our original guy here with the visibility. And because I forgot to inflate my original mesh, um, it's all inside of his body, and of course I don't want to go down here to deformation inflate, because that's going to inflate along the normals and just make the fishnets thicker. So be careful when you do that, and it's, it's not a big deal, you just hit delete and go back in here to uh, this object here, and we're just gonna turn nano mesh. Uh, oh, looks like we need to redraw it, so I'm just gonna hover our face, insert nano mesh is still on. And then we're just gonna go over here to Z rotation of zero, fit, size of one. And then we're gonna turn nano mesh off temporarily, and with this guy showing, I'm going to go out of solo mode here. This is when I'm going to go ahead and go down here to inflate and just hit one enter, one enter, one enter. You can turn on polyframe if you need to see it a little bit better. And now with the move brush, go ahead and go in here and kind of move this thing around so that it fits a little bit better outside of his leg. And then we'll go turn our nano mesh back on. It's got our fishnet on there. Go ahead and do one to mesh. Go over here, group split. And now our fishnets are outside. And now, if we want to, we can go in here to inflate like 0.2 and thicken those up if we want to, increase, subdivide, whatever you want to do. Uh, and of course, if we do want to put this on the other side, I'm just going to really quickly go into my custom menu, deformation mirror, mirror and weld, and you're good to go.